guys, it's Tanza and I am back with a video. This is on the Bump Wig by Sensational. It's the Easy 27. It's a really short, cute wig. I got it in a 1B. And it was actually came from blackhairspray.com. So my hair is just kind of braided down, not very tight, because I have been wearing a very loose fitting wig. This wig has the typical specs, a comb in the back and some adjustable straps, but no combs in the front, which I love because I don't like the way that it rubs against your edges. So I'm just showing you my, how my hair is braided. It needs to be as flat as possible because this is a very short, tapered look, so you don't want any lumps and bumps. So I'm just gonna throw the wig on really quickly, and I didn't have um, a stocking cap to put underneath, so I'm gonna try to be careful with the combs and things in the back. On each side, it has little adjustable tabs so that it makes the sides lay flat and you don't have them flying up in the air looking all crazy. It's a really cute wig even when you just put it on, but I'm going to show you guys a couple styles and we're going to see what we can do about it. First of all, I'm going to tuck it behind my ears. I don't like the hair hanging over my ears, so you're going to want to tuck that behind and make it look a little more neat. go over and adjust my camera and get in front of my mirror because it was really difficult for me to see in the little viewfinder on the camera. So we're just going to go through and do a couple styles like I said. I think the biggest thing that um, bothered me about the wig and it was probably the only thing is the fact that the size on the, let's see, right side, left side with you looking at it, it's a little thicker because that's where um, the hair it was the heavier side for the hair for this for the style so what I had to end up doing was going through with a um, with a razor and just kind of thinning it out and cutting it down so that it would be more tapered and I did that a little bit on both sides I also made the bang a little more even in the front it really wasn't a huge problem it's just that being a stylist and cuts and color being my specialty I really pay attention to things like that but straight out the box, no combs needed, just, you know, finger styling. It really is a very cute wig. I absolutely love it. Um, I've been really looking at some short styles lately. I miss my short hair. I love to switch it up. As you guys know, I get bored. And this is, to me, the perfect short wig. It's 100% human hair. Since it's the bump collection, it comes already pre-bumped, so you don't have to curl it, but you could easily go in with your curling iron or your flat iron, give yourself some spikes, maybe make the curls a little tighter, do different styles with it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Lots of people thought that I had cut my hair. <laughs> they know that I will get bored and chop it off, but I'm being good. I've been growing it out for a while, and this was the perfect solution to keeping the scissors away from my head. So it fits really neat, it's very comfortable. A lot of short wigs, like I will get really, really itchy. Um, the back of it, if it's cheap hair or it's just something about that short hair, it's more rough and ragged, I will break out. It's like I have an allergic reaction, but I'll get, it'll itch really bad in the back. And I haven't had that issue with this wig at all, which was a plus because I love the short wig looks, but some of them that I've received they just didn't work for me. They just irritated my skin. So I'm loving this wig. You guys should check it out. Go to blackhairspray.com. I'm going to put up some pics and some celebrity inspired styles that I was able to accomplish with it with no heat. See you later.